Good afternoon. Welcome to Wait a Minute. My video is my thoughts and I'm sharing them with you. It's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous outside. The heat's not on in my car. It's amazing. I love this weather. Um, I don't have my hoodie zipped up. Kind of looks crappy with the Nate's seatbelt on, on like that. But hey, so you know what? It's okay. Um, yeah. So I got nothing but positivity today. So let's try to say some positive things. Let's see. Babies. Baby smiles. Baby giggles. I love baby giggles. Um, let's see. What else do I love? I love spring. I really do. Um, if you've watched my videos for very long or if you know me, you'll got, you're going to recognize this right away because I've talked about it before. I do talk about it quite often um, in the spring. But everybody I know has a starting place. You know, like, it might not be the original starting place, but they're starting again. Like a lot of people, most people, reinvent themselves in at least some way. <laughs> so, here's my thing. My spiel, my play, my thing. Okay, um... I have a friend of mine that, that just got out of rehab on in January, and he's precious, he's a good guy, um, and I want to see him succeed, really want to see him succeed, and I, I believe that he will, but you know what, it's not always going to be easy for him, or it's not going to be easy for you, it's not going to be easy for me, any of the things that we got going on, if we reinvent ourselves, it's not going to be easy, we got, you know, we got stuff, and, um, but my thing is, it's, you know what, spring is, it's a refreshing time. Spring, it, we're like the seasons, okay? There's seasons in our life. But spring to me is like the refreshing, like the renewal, like birth. And just a fresh start. And that's what it is to me. And I, I love spring for a lot of reasons, but that's one of the reasons I love it. Because it is that fresh start. It's that, it's awesome. So, as I'm talking to this guy the other day, and who is a great guy, by the way, really love him, but um, I'm thinking, you know, this is, he's in his springtime right now, and I want to help him through his springtime as much as I possibly can, because um, with every springtime comes the summer, things get hot and dry, and sometimes pretty difficult, you know, it, it, you'd sweat like a pig, and you'd be miserable, and sometimes summer can be hard, you want to stay in the air conditioning all the time. But, um, but also, with that weather comes the beach, the lake, um, pools, uh, pools. I used to be in the business of pools and spas, smell those chemicals all day long and think, man, if I had a pool, that'd be so amazing. And um, yeah, so yeah, there's, that's my thing, I just throw that in there. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be as positive as I can and, and it is positive but you're also you're always gonna have some things and summer brings things you know fall you know there's changes in the, and things happen in your life there's changes and it's not always good sometimes you're a little depressed about the changes and then winter is harsh and cold and that's your you're being tested your testing times and, um, sometimes we fall during that time sometimes we just really struggle we need a new start and then spring comes around again well, that's kind of where we're at with people, all people. You know, our, our winter is almost over. We've had, not necessarily, you know, nobody talked to me about meteorology. I'm not talking about that. But we've had a long, hard winter. We've had a lot of chaos in our lives. We've had a lot of things happening. But winter is gone. Spring is, spring is here. I mean, it, we may get a little more snow. We may get a little more cold weather. I don't know. But this is spring. It means here. Let's just face it. Um, and this part of spring is like, like waiting for the baby to be born. You know that that anticipation. You know that intense feeling where you just can hardly stand it. And like Christmas Eve, waiting for Christmas morning. Oh my gosh! This is that moment where. I, every year I try to watch the leaves on the trees. I want to know, you know, because they always sneak up on me and all of a sudden there's leaves. And uh, I want to see, you know, I try to see when they come out. And I don't mean like the moment that they're coming out, but I mean like, I want to know what day, I want to know close to the hour if I can. Um, I always try to watch the trees, pay attention to the trees so I notice when the leaves come out. 
because that's just like that's just a thing I do every year. I want to notice it, so I try to watch really close every day. And usually, the one day I, I miss, the next day there's leaves. <laughs> um, but I try. But uh, for try, that's weird. I'm talking to all you people going for 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 from. But I do try, and so that's part of the anticipation of spring for me. That's part of the renewal. That's part of everything fresh. Is that. I am so tired of winter. I'm ready for the fresh. I'm ready for the leaves to pop out. Um, I think I told you guys a few, few videos ago, I don't know how many, um, that I saw a pair of robins in the tree next door to us that they always uh, build a nest there. And I'm like, that robin must know something we don't know. Because they're just, you know, there's snow on the ground, whatever. And there's that robin. And um, you know what? I think he did know something we don't know. Because... I didn't know it was going to be 44 degrees today until yesterday. I didn't know that the snow would be this melted off until it happened. You know, I mean, the, you know, meteorologists are amazing, and I love Bill Steffen. Hey, Bill. Um, but it's it's not, uh, you know, God still does what God does, and sometimes it's unexpected. Well, I don't know. I, I believe, if I pay close enough attention, that um, meteorologists were expecting this, and meteorologists are expecting there to be um, in early spring and all this, you know, but I didn't know, just saying, it didn't tell me, um, anyways, so now that's it, spring is here, I mean, you know, for all intents and purposes, let it be spring in your life too, you know, this is that moment of anticipation, just waiting for the thing to happen, and all of a sudden it's spring, you know, this is that, that moment where the trees are all bare, and it's warmer, and the snow is melting, and you start walking trails again, you can start, you know, living your life somewhat reasonably normal, and um, as normal as we can these days, and stuff like that. And I can start walking the pier again pretty soon. That's awesome. I'm going to start climbing stairs again. That's awesome. I need that so bad. But spring, I mean, th these are things I want to do. I want to, you know, clean up my storage unit and have everybody come get whatever crap they want and just clean it out for me. Um, spring cleaning, you know. So here's the deal. Here's what I, I want to challenge you with, okay? Spring is here. Your spring is here. You can start right now, today, whatever time you see this video, and go from there. You don't have to wait for a certain day. You don't have to wait till New Year's to make a resolution. You don't even have to make a resolution. Just change. You don't have to say, I'm going to change. Just change. And that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. I didn't mean to, I don't, I'm not trying to belittle it or anything, but you got to change, change, you know, but don't, don't wait. There is no specific day. Today is your spring. Today is the day. Those things that are dirtying up and cluttering up, let's do some spring cleaning. Let's get on the right track. My prayer for all of you is that you would be experiencing spring, the excitement of spring, the um, amazement and the wonder and the anticipation. God bless you. Get out there and do stuff. Um, be positive, be happy. I love you, and I will see you next time.